start performance over in Perth? Yeah, it was. It was obviously good to, to get on the board nice and early um, there against Sri Lanka. And um, I think you say comfortable. We say uh, we learnt a little bit out of it. So um, always nice to kick start the tournament with a win anyway. Coming out right yourself, you sort of bowled pretty well uh, in the warm-up and then again um, with the wacker. Yeah, things are, are feeling good. Um, obviously, I've had a, a pretty good lead into this tournament um, with playing the WBBL over here and then our Super Smash competition back home. So, um, yeah, in a pretty happy place with, with the bowling at the moment. Obviously, Sophie's form was uh, pretty nice as well. <laughs> Must be good to sit back and watch that. Yeah, it's always nice uh, having that confidence when she's at the crease that, you know, you feel like you're in safe hands at the moment and um, her form's been exceptional for the past six months and um, we're hoping it continues for another three weeks. Yeah, pretty comfortable here to be fair. I've been here for a few years now with the Renegades, obviously, and um, you know we've had a bit of a chat today around the conditions. And there's a few of us who have played here, so uh, we've sort of got a little bit of intel that we've we've shared with everyone, and hopefully that puts us in good stead for tomorrow. You mentioned sharing intel um, after the warm-up match against Thailand. You guys obviously stayed around and um, you know I guess shared some some knowledge and insights. Who was behind that, and um, what is there anything you know you shared with them you might be happy to share with us? Um, I'm not actually sure who was behind it. Um, Soph just came over and, and sort of said if we could split into some bowling and batting groups and go over and, and have a chat with the girls. And um, it's something that, uh, as a group, we're more than happy to do. Um, it's all about growing the game, and seeing the, the Thai girls here has been fantastic. Um, their excitement is completely infectious, and um, it was really great to, to be able to take the time to do that. And to be honest, we just talked around the basics of the game, and I think there's been a few videos sort of swirling around where the batters are saying about, you know, pick your person, who, who you want to face and, and who you're better at. And um, as seam bowlers, we just talked about a few different deliveries that the girls could practice um, in the nets. So pick your person. Have you had any similar discussions uh, leading into the India game? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone does. Um, that's the beauty of it. You watch footage and you get together in, in groups and you certainly have conversations about, um, you know, who you want to target, who you might be looking to, to not target as much and sort of what they're going to do. No, I think it's great. Um, I actually played her in the IPL last year and the exact same thing, like you say, she's not going to take a step back, but personally I love that. That makes me fire up a little bit more and um, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. What were you doing around Sixteenth birthday? <laughs> Certainly wasn't playing international cricket. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's a greater role. I mean, my role is pretty clear. Um, you know, it's, it's come in with the new ball and, and they look to come back later on, whether that's breaking a partnership or, or what that might might be. Um, we've got a lot of experienced girls who have played here a lot and obviously I'm sharing my knowledge from here, but Katie Martin also played here a lot with the Melbourne Stars and obviously Sophie and Susie. I think Sophie put a few balls over the, uh, over the fence here when she was playing for Adelaide. So um, a lot of girls have a lot of experience in these conditions. Yeah, I think it's a pitch we actually have to identify it on the day. Um, there's been times where it's been a little bit slower and lower, but I think it'll be a new pitch tomorrow, so that could have a little bit more in it for the for the seamers. Um, and then the ground itself runs extremely fast, um, especially, um, I suppose, straight um, and behind the wicket straight as well. So we'll be looking to just make sure that we get those angles right in the fields. Um, last one for me is um, we've seen both the Men's World Cup in the middle of last year and here now again, going to the Thailand example and others are examples of on the global stage, New Zealand really setting a benchmark in the way they carry themselves. Is that something you talk about, that there's a certain way you go about your cricket on and off the field? No, it's not something we talk about. Um, I just I just think it's the Kiwi way overall. Um, we're looking to give a hand wherever we can and, and play the game with a smile on our face. We play hard, but we like to play fair. Um, and, you know, off the field, it's sweeping the sheds and making sure that we're respectful to every person.